meal prep for the week. I have pre-cooked meatballs that I cooked a few weeks ago and then I froze, so we thawed those out. We're gonna put them with some spaghetti squash, tomato, basil, garlic, pasta sauce, and some mushrooms. Maybe this pepper I think I'm gonna throw in. For my other meal, I have fig and feta chicken sausage that I'm gonna pair with these little potatoes and these green beans back here. I also have a random sweet potato. <laughs> So we're just gonna cook that. And then I have some baby spring mix left over that I think I'm gonna throw in both the pasta and the fig and feta bowls. These are pretty simple. I just take what I have left over, I look at what's in the fridge, and we make it work. So, let's go. First thing we have to do before we cook is the dishes. There ain't no room in this bitch. So dishes are done. The first thing we're gonna do is wash off the veggies and then uh, start chopping shit. Up in here, I have a calendar. <sighs> so these need to be rinsed. Uh, so that sound that you hear, if you hear it in the background, is my water pump. So right now, I am not hooked up to water. I am hooked up to electric, but I have a water tank on board, 50 gallon water tank. The pump pumps water in through here. I try not to use too much. I'm not doing a very good job. Uh, and then that goes into my gray tank, which I will empty out tomorrow. If I don't have electricity, I just need enough power in my battery to make things work. So if my battery goes below 10 volts, then I'll need to turn the, the truck on in order to charge up the battery in order to make the propane fire or make the water pump happen. I think I might need another battery. Somebody who does batteries tell me if it's okay to let my battery drop below 10 volts a lot, because it does, even with solar. Anyway, okay, now we're gonna chop shit. All right, darlings. I'm gonna cut up some mushrooms. When I talk about meal prep, let me just reiterate. We're not over here creating masterpieces. I am not making Julia Child beef bourguignon in a friggin' camper. I am just like, cook stuff ahead of time and throw it in your fridge so that you don't do what I did today, which was get tired and sad and hungry and eat two bowls of Reese's peanut butter puffs because that is what I will do. My eating is the path of least resistance, which means if it's not ready, I'm not cooking it. I just need things ready, that's it. I wanna make good healthy food quickly so that I can go hang out in the woods and that's what I wanna do. What should we do with this pepper? Oh, that's what I was gonna say. This is the first cooking video and I'm sorry. So a lot of the times what I do is if I have something left over from last week, I will incorporate it into both meals. By the way, it's raining, if you guys can hear it. It's kind of nice. It's nice when you're like inside and you're warm. It's not nice when you don't have heat and you're wearing three layers to stay warm. So you guys might be asking. You might not, but just in case you are. In a normal house, I would be preheating my oven right now, but I'm not in a normal house. My oven is very small and takes approximately five seconds to preheat. So we're not really worried. Ooh, maybe I can mash these. This is what happens every day. It's just who I am. I can't help it. Okay, so now that everything is chopped. We're gonna turn on the oven. Pulled the hair back. I have like a glass lid. Open that up. This is my oven. My cute little oven. This is my one sheet pan that I have that fits in it. All the way in the back. Like here. That is the pilot. So I need to light that. Look at this. Ready? Ah. These are all my burners. This is the igniter. And then this is for the oven. So what I do is I press on this, that releases the gas to come out here, and then I light it, and then it whooshes up. Just to let you guys know, it's on the floor. Like, I have to sit on the floor. All right, so with one hand, again, we're gonna press this down. 
Ah, got it. All right. I don't know if you guys can see that. We let it go for a second. Let me turn this up. Whoosh. That's what it looks like. So again, back there, that was the pilot. I can turn it up or down with this. This is really funny because it says like 350, 400. Um, it's a lie. It's just, it's a lie. Like guys, it's a fox. So now I think you guys probably understand why it doesn't really take a whole lot of time. The last thing that I need to chop is my spaghetti squash. I'm gonna flow onto spaghetti squash. squash. My sister's gonna come out and be like, who are you talking to? I'm gonna be like, the internet. I like to cut off the top so that I have a flat surface to do this on. You just wanna, good. You just wanna cut it in half. Oh, this is like butter. That's what the inside looks like. And then we're just gonna scoop out the inside. By the way, this is my garbage can. I take great pride in how well my RV smells. Once you're done, what you're gonna do is, one second, spices, salt and pepper, a little bit of olive oil, smish, 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 pepper. That's all we did. Salt and pepper, upside down. Peel off the sticker. But then on the other side, take a fork or a knife, whatever. Stabbies. My oven is set to 400. I don't really, I don't know what that means. It's a crapshoot. The spaghetti squash is in the oven. Season the green beans and the mushrooms. Olive oil, pepper. Oh, no, sorry, I got a thought and then I stopped. Honestly, guys, I didn't really have a plan. Sorry. Next time I'll have a plan. All right. I got this pan. I got this pan. Bam. If I had garlic, I would put garlic in there, but I don't. So I left. We're cooking green beans and mushrooms on the stovetop. Spaghetti squash is inside. I'm cutting up potatoes and getting them ready. All right, I got warm. Spaghetti squash, still in the oven. Green beans and mushrooms. Okay, fig and feta chicken sausage. Right now, I have my potatoes. Oh my gosh, they smell so good. I cook everything in the same pan. The next step, once the potatoes are tender, move them off here, same pot. Put in my meatballs, which are already cooked. They just need to be warmed up. My mixed greens and some tomato basil sauce and then we're gonna check on our spaghetti squash and we're pretty much done so there's been a very slight change of plants instead of finishing the potatoes on the stovetop the spaghetti squash was actually done so i transferred the potatoes into the oven i also wanted to start the meatballs and the sauce and all that other jazz serving size is a half a cup Very low heat. Again, we're using the same pan. Everything else has been cooked in here. I don't care. I always make a mess. Dang it. I need a full bib. <laughs> Not all of this is good, but I'm gonna throw in the stuff that is good for some extra greens because I have a problem with wasting food. So what'd you do today? Oh, I watched this girl just like pick through bad lettuce. Just trying to make her meal prep. That sounds really interesting. Do you feel better about yourself? Yeah, actually I do, because I don't have to pick your lettuce. Bam. Basically just wilt the greens. I was always taught you do your dishes while you're waiting, so we're gonna do this while we wait on the taters. All the cooking is done. Spaghetti squash, nice and cooked. Meatballs. I'm gonna measure one cup of spaghetti squash and then I think four meatballs. I have to double check on the macros, but that will be um, higher protein. So 
So as you guys can see, I have a little bit left over. I'm just gonna put these last balls in there. So my other meal is gonna be my chicken sausage along with some potatoes and the green beans and mushrooms. I know that I made four chicken sausages, so I'm gonna split them up into four containers and then split up the potatoes and the green beans and I'm gonna count the macros later. I'm using my freaking hands. You can absolutely measure and I recommend it. I want three ounces of potatoes. Perfect. Now I want four ounces of these veggies. I have some leftover, I have some leftover potatoes as well. I also have an extra container. I'm talking to myself, I'm sorry. And that's it. Four meals of spaghetti squash and turkey meatballs. Four meals of chicken sausage with potatoes, green beans, and roasted mushrooms. Sweet potato and green pepper kind of like skillet. I'm gonna mix it with egg whites. Just had a little bit of extra green beans and mushrooms and some extra potatoes. That took probably less than two hours. Not a whole lot of propane, not a whole lot of dishes. And if I can do it in this tiny, tiny space, you can do it too. Trust me, if you have a full kitchen or any kitchen, totally doable. So if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Any comments, I'd love to hear them. If you guys have ideas or things that you want to see if I can do in here. Be gentle, I'm not a great cook. But I just want to show you guys that you can, you can do these simple like meal preps anywhere. Thanks for tuning in and I will see you guys soon.